Hey guys, Marlena the Fearless Chef here. Today we are making charro beans. Charro beans are those beans in the water that you usually get at Mexican restaurants. And I'm gonna teach you how to make them from scratch. So you're gonna need about five cups of raw pinto beans. That's the dry ones in the store. And we're gonna clean them. So when we clean, that means we're gonna take out pieces of dirt that's in there. A lot of the times they have uh, like balls of dirt, they have halved beans or they have pieces of beans. So you're gonna go through that big pile that you've torn out and you're gonna take out all those little pieces in there that won't make a whole bean. So you're probably like, this chick is cooking five cups of beans. That's a lot of beans. And you're right, it is a lot of beans. But I personally use quite a bit of beans for a lot of different meals. So I like to cook them in bulk. And if you put them in Ziploc bags, you can freeze them. Freezing your beans could last you up to six months. So it's a really good option if you're making a lot and you're not gonna use them all right away. So at this point, I usually put my beans in a strainer. And while I'm putting them in my strainer, um, I'm still checking to see if there's broken ones or if there's bits of dirt that I didn't get out. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna rinse them because beans are dirty. And once you see, like once you start touching them and things, you'll start feeling on your hands. You get like this white powdery feeling on them. And that's all the dirt that's from the beans. So even though the bag says triple washed, wash them yourself. Couple recommendations while you're cleaning your beans. So first off, you wanna make sure that you go into those beans, you rub them around in the water, you're cleaning them really nice and good, and make sure that the water is either cold or warm. I would not recommend using hot water because then the bean uh, skin starts to like peel off and then it starts getting everywhere and it just gets messy. So use warm water or cold to clean it. We washed them and now we're putting them in the pot and we're gonna fill that pot up with water you want to make sure that you put pretty good amount of water in there because the beans use that water soak it up and then start to expand plus you always want a little bit of juguito a little bit of juice inside your beans so that later on whenever you're making different meals with those beans you can either take out the water or take out the juice or you can include it so when I'm making my beans, I never put my beans on high heat. I always put it on medium. And I recommend you do the same because then it cooks pretty evenly inside the pot and it doesn't start bubbling over because it will do that. You're going to go ahead and put a whole head of garlic in there and some salt and you're just going to let those boil. Now beans take a while, so about five cups will take me about two and a half to three hours to cook. So it's not something you really need to babysit. You just put them on your stove, put the lid on it and then let it do its thing. So since you already put the salt in and your head of garlic, you're gonna close it and you're gonna start working on the seasoning of your beans. So we're gonna use a whole packet of bacon, a tomato, an onion, of course you got your garlic, and some cilantro. Now all of these things, we're just gonna dice them all up. We're gonna cut them all up. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's all gonna get cooked. Just an FYI, this is my ham bone from Thanksgiving. So I knew I wanted to use it in my beans and so I had it in my freezer since Thanksgiving. And hey, my bean time came around. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that bone in there because that bone has so much flavor that it's gonna bring this added element to my beans that's delicious. Now, if you're vegan or whatever your situation may be, you don't necessarily have to put meat in it if you don't want to. It tastes very, very good with vegetables as well. Um, or just with vegetables. So don't feel obligated to have to use meat, but the meat does really enhance those flavors. So if you can eat it, or if you do have something to throw in there, do it. Mm -hmm. 
So chopping all these vegetables can be super time consuming. So I'd recommend if you live here in Texas, go to HEB. They have pre-chopped cilantro, pre-chopped onion, almost everything pre-chopped, pre-washed and ready to go. If you don't have an HEB, I am so sorry for you. You don't know what you're missing out. But go check your local store and I bet they might have something similar. So when I'm cooking or when I'm chopping all these things, I try to think about it in a different perspective. So I'm cutting the bacon up and I'm putting it on a platter with all the rest of my ingredients for the seasoning. So I want to apologize ahead of time because I forgot to show you how I cook these things. But usually I'll put the bacon in first. I'll brown my bacon in a frying pan. Then I'll put my onion and my tomato and I'll let that cook a little bit more as well so it's kind of translucent, you can see through it. And then I'll put my cilantro in. Once that cilantro starts to wilt, then I'll put it in my beans. So an hour and a half later, my beans are almost ready. They're halfway through, the color is changing, um, and but they're still hard. So go ahead and put that seasoning in there, put that bacon, the cilantro, um, the onion and the tomato in there, and it'll start to give your bean juice some flavor. Okay, so now your beans have been sitting there for about two hours just chilling and getting that water, soaking it in with all those nice delicious ingredients that you put in there, those seasonings. Make sure to go check that juguito. Make sure you taste your juice. It's not bland. Put some salt in there if it tastes like cardboard. And that's it. Put a lid on it and wait till those beans are nice and soft. Once they're soft, they're done. Take them off the burner and you're good to go you got a whole meal right there so if you want to store them put them in ziploc bags if not just eat them be proud of yourself you did it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video we're doing a whole bunch more recipes here in the future so subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like this video if you liked it and i'll see you guys soon bye